Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation k square minus k cube equal to 12. We need to solve this equation for 4k, for so if you have your answer, your approach, your assumption, you can write it in the comments below and then we will check the answers. Okay, so first of all let's subtract this 12 from both sides. As a result, on the left side we have k square minus k cubed, so the same beginning, yeah, k square minus k cubed, but we have minus 12, so we subtract 12 from both sides, so we have minus 12 equal to minus 12 equal to 0. Okay, what are we going to do next? This 12 we can write as a sum of two constants, so we have 12, yeah? We can write this 12 in a lot of ways, obviously, yeah, 6 plus 6, like 1 plus 11, but the best way to express this 12 is to write it as 8 plus 4. Four. And a lot of students might be asking why we express this as 8 plus 4, and in a few seconds I will explain you it, okay? So first of all, let's express this 12 as 8, 8 plus 4. So we have k square minus k cube minus, instead of this 12, we're going to write this one, 8 plus 4, yeah? So we have 8 plus 4 equal to 0. Okay, really great. What are we going to do next? Let's open parentheses real quick. So as a result, we have k square minus k cube minus 8 and minus 4. And a lot of students might be asking why do we, what we're going to do next. We have, uh, in the beginning we have 12, right now we have 8 and 4, so what we, what we can do with it. But a really important moment. This 8 can be written as 2 cube, and this 4 can be written as 2 square, so we can easily work with cubes and with squares, considering the fact that we have like squares and cubes in the beginning. So right now let's change this 8 by 2 cube and this 4 by um, by 2 square. Let's do it right now. So we have k square minus k cube minus, instead of this 8 we write 2 cube, yeah, minus 2 cube, and minus, instead of 4, we're gonna write 2 to square and equal to equal to zero. And right now, as I said before, we have k square, we have two squares, so we can group it, yeah, we can group these squares, and we have k cube and we have two cube, and we can easily we can easily group it. So right now let's do the thing. Let's group squares and cubes. First of all, I want to group squares, so we have k square minus two square. So k square minus two k square minus two square. Second thing, minus Right now let's group our cubes, so k cube plus 2 cube, yeah, so we have k cube, k cube plus 2 cube equal to 0. And right now, really important moment, okay, we have a, a expression, we can easily call it as difference of squares, and we need to know uh, the formula, okay, difference of squares. So we have x square minus y square equal to x plus y, x plus y, and times x minus y. This is our all known formula, and we're gonna apply this formula to this first parenthesis. In the second parenthesis, we have not, we have, we don't have like a difference of squares. So we have a sum of two cubes. This is like a, a different formula from this one. So right now, let's let's remember this. So we have x cube plus y cube. X cube plus y cube equal to. So we have x plus y. Yeah. In another parenthesis, we have x square minus x y and plus y square. This is our formula. Maybe this one is the most popular formula. This one you need to know, you need to learn and understand the sum of two cubes. And right now let's apply these both formulas. Difference of squares, sum of two cubes. First one right here, second one right here. So let's do it right now. Uh, so uh, what do we have in the beginning? We have k minus 2, k plus 2. It doesn't matter. According to this formula we can write it as k uh, plus 2 times k minus 2 times k minus 2. And we have minus Right here we have uh, this formula, sum of two of two cubes. So we have k plus two, k plus two. We have k square, k square minus two k, and plus two square. We have plus four equal to zero. And right now, really important moment, because we have a lot of parentheses. We have one, two, three. We have four parentheses. We have subtraction right here, and you need to know that we can factor from here k plus two. Extremely important part because we have k plus two right here. And we have k plus 2 right here, so we can easily factor this k plus 2. We have a, a common thing from on both sides of this subtraction sign. We have multiplication, extremely important part. So we can easily factor this k, k plus 2. And in another parenthesis, what do we have? From here we have k minus 2. I'm going to start with this big parenthesis. So we have k minus 2. And right here we have this one. From here we have only, uh, from this part, we have only this one, considering uh, the fact that we, uh, like, factor it, yeah? Minus, so we have k square 
minus 2k and plus 4 equal to 0. Okay, so we factor it, but we really need to you know, like uh, uh, simplify this expression in another parenthesis. So we have k plus 2 right here in the beginning and right here let's open our parenthesis so k minus 2 we can easily open because we have a positive sign so this is k minus 2 right here we need to change all the sign to the opposite one so we have minus k square plus 2k and minus 4 minus 4 equal to equal to 0 Okay, really great. Right now, let's simplify this expression. So we need, we really need to change an order a little bit because it looks like this is a quadratic equation. We have the second power. This is like the highest power. So let's write this expression on the first position. We have with k, we have two expressions with k, and we have we have two constants. So right now, let's group everything. So we have k plus two in the beginning. Right here, what do we have? Minus k square. So we have minus k square. Two k plus k plus three k plus 3k minus 2 minus 4 equal to minus 6 minus 6 equal to 0 and right now we can easily we can easily solve it without any problems because we have a product of two parentheses and this product equal to 0 so it means that the first parenthesis is equal to 0 or the second parenthesis is equal to 0 and mm, I suggest you to multiply both sides by minus 1 because you know in the second parenthesis we have a negative sign and a lot of students don't like it they prefer a classic uh, order they prefer a classic thing ax square plus bx plus c so they prefer a, this coefficient not with a negative sign but with the positive sign yeah they prefer this expression so we when we multiply it we, we can actually get rid of this negative sign so we need to change all these signs to the opposite one so we have k plus 2 and in the another parenthesis we have k square minus 3k and plus plus 6 equal to 0 and right now at this point we can easily uh, solve it so a product of two parentheses we have a really cute in terms of math like we have a really cute expressions yeah in terms of math so we can easily solve it so first of all k plus 2 equal to 0 or k square minus 3k plus 6 equal to 0 real quick right here because k first equal to minus 2 without any problems we're gonna check it a little bit later so k first equal to minus 2 what about this uh, this expression this is our I would say this is a quadratic equation yeah but I'm gonna solve it with the with the method of uh, the method of coefficients uh, a equal to 1 b equal to minus 3 and c equal to and c equal to 6 okay these are three coefficients and we're gonna plug in it in a discriminant formula so b square minus 4 a c equal to so b square so minus 3 uh, square minus 4 times 1 times 6 and from here what do we get we get 9 minus 4 times 6 equal to 24 so our discriminant equal to minus 15 so it means that in this part of discriminant it's less than zero so it means at this part we're gonna have like two uh, two complex roots and this one is only one real number root but let's solve it without any problems we can easily solve the second branch with two um, complex roots so we're gonna have like k second and third equal to uh, we have a classic formula minus b plus minus square root of d and all over all over to a Okay, this is our uh, this is our formula, and as a result, what do we have? Minus b, so we have minus minus three, plus minus square root of discriminant, square root of minus fifteen, and all over two times two times one. Let's simplify this real quick. Uh, minus minus three equal to three, so we have three plus minus square root of minus fifteen. We can easily split it because right here we have like imaginary unit because our square root of a negative value. We can't get it because uh, square root cannot be uh, calculated with the negative value, yeah? This expression should be like greater or equal than zero. So we can write it as square root of minus one. We can easily split it times square root of 15, yeah? And all over, all over two. And right now, this is our imaginary unit, square root of minus one. This is our imaginary unit. We have three plus minus i square root of 15 so we can't uh, express this 15 uh, with the two values uh, yeah we can't express it and all over all over two so that is this is our maximum of course a lot of students prefer uh, splitting by real part and imaginary part of course we can write it as three half plus minus i square root of 15 over two this is our real part 
this is our imaginary problem. This is up to you. How do you prefer solving this, um, this type of question? So as you can see, we, we solve it. We have k first, k second, and and third. Right now, let's check real quick our k first, and let's write our final answer. First of all, I'm going to write our final answer because I don't have enough space. Yeah, so our answer, so k first equal to minus 2. Uh, k second, let's go with the, with the positive sign. So 3 half, 3 half plus i square root of 15 over over 2 this is our uh, k second and k third equal to 3 half minus i square root of 15 over over 2 and of course our last step is like to check this k first equal to minus 2 because uh, basically we don't need to check this complex roots Mm, no one do this, uh, but in our case, let's check k first equal to minus 2. I don't have enough space, I think right here I'm going to check it. So in the beginning we had uh, k square minus k cube equal to equal to 12. Okay, k uh, square minus k cube equal to 12. And let's plug in this minus 2. What do we have as a result? We have minus 2 square minus minus 2 minus 2 cube. Minus 2 square equal to... Mm, 4, 4 minus, uh, this minus 8, I would say, because we have minus 2 cube equal to minus 8, minus minus is plus, so everything, everything is great. So our root is uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely correct, so 4 uh, k first equal to minus 2. So our root is absolutely correct, so here's our final answer uh, to this question, so three roots, k first, k second, and k third. K first, we, we check it right here real quick, yeah, and of course, I'm sorry about um, that we can't expand it, I would say, because uh, we don't have enough space, but I really hope you get it. This is one line, we check this minus 2 and everything is great. So we have 4 plus 8 equal to equal to 12. And of course, my solution, I really hope you understand it. Also, write your response, write your mm, thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'm going to give you a few hints uh, to this question because, uh, you know, you, in terms of algebra, you really need to know about a fundamental theorem of algebra. So how does this uh, theorem looks like? Uh, I'm going to say in, in very simple words, okay? If, for example, here's our equation. We have k squared minus k cube. Oh, okay, let's do it right here in the beginning, yeah? So we have k squared minus k cube equal to 12. And uh, fundamental theorem of algebra tells us that uh, you need to scan what is the highest power on this to this equation. So, for example, the highest power is obviously 3 because we have 2 and 3 square and cube. The highest power is 3. So, according to a fundamental theorem of algebra, it means that uh, when you have 3 at the highest of power, it means that you have 3 roots in total. These are a maximum amount of roots. In our case, 3. So, it means 3 roots in total. But the combination can be different. You can easily have like two complex, one real, one real, two complex, or only two complex. So it's a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of combination. But uh, according to a fundamental theorem of algebra, you can easily check your uh, your answer because uh, when you see, uh, okay, I have a k cube, so it means that the third power is the highest one right here. So what I mean, it means that I I can have only three roots, no nothing more, like not four or five. I can have like three three roots in total, like two complex, one real, one real. Two complex, two complex, or two real without complex. You know, a, a lot of a lot of these uh, a lot of this combination. And in our case, it works perfectly. K cube it means three roots in total. In our case, we have we have uh, two uh, complex root. Yeah, we have two complex root, and we have one uh, one real number root. Yeah, two complex and one one real number root. So I really hope you understand. Also, write your thoughts, write your response. What do you think about this uh, about this part? What do you think about this uh, about this question? It will be really interesting to discuss a little bit about this uh, question in the comments below. And I really hope you understand uh, my explanation. So thank you for your time. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.